the break statement is optional. If you don't write the break statement at the end of your case statement, execution of the program will continue into the next case and then to the case after that and so on until a break statement is encountered or the end of the switch statement is reached. In programming terms, we refer to this as program control falling through the cases of switch statement. To understand this fall through thing, let's go back to our last example of switch statement and remove all the break statements from cases and see what happens. I am removing all the break statements. Now I will run the program. What is this output we got this time? Let's try to understand it. Value of number is 1, so this case is matched and the println following it gets executed. We see value of number is 1 printed in the output here. As we have removed the break statement from this case, program control falls through to the next case. This println gets executed and we see the output value of number is 2 in the console window. As there are no break statements in our switch, the fall through of program control continues to the default case and we see the output value of number is greater than 2 on the console. So, that's fall through in switch statement for you. Let's write a break in case 2 and run the program. This time, case 1 gets executed. Then program control falls through to case 2. println of case 2 gets executed, but since case 2 now has a break statement, it transfers the program control to the end of switch statement over here and the println of default case is not printed. By now you may wonder why switch statement behaves this way and is there any use of this fall through behavior. Turns out this fall through behavior of switch is very useful in programming. Let me prove it to you with an example. This program takes the month of the year as the input and prints the season corresponding to that month as the output. It decides the season based on this table. February, March is spring. April, May, June is summer. July, August, September is monsoon. October, November is autumn. December, January is winter. Notice that multiple months map to the same season. In such situations, we can use fall through behavior of the switch statement. Here, we have clubbed together the cases of months mapping to the same season and provided a single break statement. Let's say I give the month number as 4. It will match this case. Since there is no break, the program control will fall through case 5 and 6 and print its summer season to the console. The break statement after the println statement will transfer the program control outside of the switch statement over here. Using the fall through behavior of switch statement, I can make this program concise by not repeating the same println statement in the case of each month that maps to the same season. I will show the execution of the program now with a few different months as input. First, I'll compile the class. Then I'll create a new object of the class. Using this object, I will execute the print season method. Okay, so it's asking me to enter the month. I'll give the first input as February. It correctly shows spring as the season for February. Next, I will give May. Summer for May is correct. Next, let me give July. July is indeed monsoon. Next, I will give November. And it is autumn season in November. Next, I will give December. Winter for December is correct. So, as you can see, our program is behaving as expected. Let me also try giving an invalid month. So, I will give the month as 25. Our program is able to handle an invalid month too 